Hey guys! So I'm in a new room today. <laughs> I'm actually in my husband's little room is what um, technically we say that it's his room because he's got his little tiny dresser in here since it couldn't actually fit back in our room and um, we got another dresser in here and he's got all of his ball hats and all his clothes are actually in this closet in here because the other closet in the hallway where the mirrors are are mine so yeah this is technically his little own personal bedroom so um yeah i think he feels special about that <laughs> hey i'm going to be doing another video for you guys and i actually want to sit up so i'll be back better much better <laughs> okay so anyway it's not the point of this video um so today I thought I'd do another experience video with you guys and um, I really like doing these I like talking to you guys about these um, so yeah today I'm going to be telling you guys about my obsession when I was in high school and it was over a guy and <laughs> if this guy ever watches this video he will probably know exactly that it's about him and yeah, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> I just want to say to you, um, I'm really sorry about those days in high school because I was literally kind of a stalker freak. Be talking about my little creeper stalking experience, I was actually a stalker before. <laughs> so anyways, it all started back, um, I want to say when I was in grade school, I had this super mega crush on this guy and I'm not going to mention any names. Um, just because I don't, you know, I just want to keep that private. So, um, in fifth grade I developed my first crush and I know like it all depends like on different guys and different girls. You know, when you start liking boys and start liking girls and all that, like everybody's different and some people obviously are a little bit more early and some are later and I was like a late bloomer compared to my friends. I feel like they all had... A lot more infatuation, infatu is that even a word? I think it is, but I don't know. Or, um, into my friends were more into boys, I think, when they were like in second grade, and like I was not into boys hardly at all. I was like a total, complete tomboy, and I played basketball for like a long time, so I didn't really get into boys until like maybe fifth grade, but I still wasn't completely like ready to have an actual boyfriend in fifth grade, but I did have a crush on somebody that I thought was really cute. And so that is this guy that I'm talking about that I'm stalking. Um, so in fifth grade, you know, I was just kind of like, you know, developed more of like, oh, he's really cute, you know, watching him a lot with his friends and stuff like that. And, but never had the courage to really go and talk to him. So, in sixth grade, you know, still had the same exact crush. It was like I couldn't really, you know, I really liked that guy. He was just so cute. had the baby face on him and everything. And so, then it was time for me to go to high school in seventh grade. And that's when I become more obsessed with this person. And I think, like, it just kind of started kind of just like when high school hit, you know, everybody was like, BAM with puberty, you know, and, <laughs> and everybody was more like, you know, okay, we're in seventh grade now, we're big time, we gotta date somebody this year, or we gotta get a boyfriend this year. That's how it kind of felt for me in high school, is like everybody was dating somebody, and if you didn't have somebody, you was pretty much, either, you was either a loser, or you was a lesbian, or you was gay. I mean, that was the kind of pressure that we had in high school. So, 7th grade come, me and my best friend that also makes videos on YouTube that's been in videos with me, Marissa, she also had, um, she also had her own little obsession with this other guy, which was actually friends with this guy. So, we both, like, had this crazy obsession over these two guys, and, um, we would just, like, uh, copy pictures, like, out of the yearbook and, like, print them off the computer and, like, cut them out and stuff. And, you know, we just have pictures. Actually, at one point, we both, I think we framed these pictures that we copied. Like, how fu freaking fucking, fucking creepy is that? Like, that's, that's, like, why would you do that with somebody you've never even talked to or you've never introduced yourself to or you've never told them that you liked them? Why would you just secretly have this obsession? 
and <laughs> so yeah we would like do that kind of stuff and I think at one point we actually framed it and set it up like on our beside our bed on our nightstand like so when we woke up we could look at their picture and we also had this thing in our bedroom that was called like our the name of the person and then we call it wall like the I'll just use an example the Kevin Wall, even though that wasn't either one of their names, I'm just using that name as an example. And we would make each other all the times. Um, back in the day, gel pens were really freaking popular. If you guys remember the gel pen days, we would make each other like on just scrap paper, like their name on it. We'd call her and stuff and write different stuff on it. And we'd put it on our wall. We had like this whole thing going around our room and our parents obviously thought we were nuts so anytime we had company over they obviously you know laughed about it and was like ha ah. like well have you even asked this guy out um no never had the balls to go and actually ask this person out so by eighth grade still obsessed with the same person in my mind and um we me and my <laughs> friend actually had our own little songs that reminded us of these two, like the guys that we were secretly in love with. And every time we would listen to these songs and we would go crazy and just like say we were, we were so crazy in love. How can you be crazy in love with someone you've never met before is so insane to me. And I just still like being who I am now today, I don't understand my younger self. Like I wish I could go back and change all those times that I've wasted my time like obsessing over this person or at least went and talked to the guy. I was just so scared to death. I was so shy in school. I was not a social media person. Like I could not go and talk to people. I was just really scared and nervous all the time to talk to people I didn't know. So I only had my own little clique of friends that I hung out with and me and my friend would wait for these guys to get off the school bus. We'd stand down in the hall in school, you know, and just wait for them to walk by and go, oh, you know, whatever. Fucking psychos, basically. And we would go to their football games and we would plaster their number on our face with markers all over the face, write their nicknames on our face. Who the fuck does that? Right? That is so stalker creepy experience. And now thinking about it, like how dumb are you to do that? Somebody that you secretly like, why would you go to a football game and write their name all over your body when you've never even talked to them before? And obviously if they go past you, they're going to see that you're obsessed and wear like their number on your shirt. I think we even did that. Like, what? Um, <laughs> thinking back on it, it's so embarrassing to actually tell you guys that I was actually kind of a stalker because I think now looking back, I realized that, hey, I was kind of a stalker. Um, I mean, I didn't really do nothing extreme to these guys. I, it was more like a secret, a secretly crush, but everyone knew about it kind of thing. It was just that I was too scared to go and confront the guy and actually ask him out. So by the time ninth grade rolled around... <sighs> Finally, somebody actually did go tell this guy, I think, that I, hey, I liked him and wanted to go out with him. And, you know, I think at first he said he would think about it, and we, I never did ever talk to this guy still. So, he was actually, I think, liking this other girl at the time. So, he was just kind of like, no, you know, I'm, she, she's a nice girl, but I'm not interested in her. I'm kind of interested in somebody else. So, of course, that was kind of, you know, hard to hear. But at the same time, I was kind of relieved that he said that. I don't know if that makes any sense. Why would I be relieved? Do you think that I would be heartbroken? But I wasn't. I was kind of just relieved that he was, wasn't was interested in going out with me because I was too scared, too scared to confront this person. So I was too, I was just too afraid. And no wonder the way that I, I acted, being obsessively crazy over the guy, that I just couldn't face him. Like, it was just something that was in my imagination that I've made up to be in love with that didn't really exist. So, um, he ended up dating this other girl and they dated for a while and then I think she wanted to kick my ass and all this stuff because she thought that I liked her man, which I had a crush on him, but then by that point I was kind of getting over it. And I was kind of moving on from him, you know, finally. Holy crap, guys, how many years is that from, like, 5th to ninth grade of being obsessed with this one person? Like, you can't do that. Like, it was such a waste of time. I never really did do anything crazy. Like, I never went, um, I'm not going to say anything about that, but... <laughs>
I realized that I kind of did walk to his house one time, but I didn't get near his house. Like, I wasn't near his house, I just walked down the road past his house and looked at his house, but I never did any, like, creepy stuff like spying or anything like that. I never, ever did anything bad like that. I just was, me and my friend, we was obsessed with these two guys, and her guy was um, a guy that was friends with him, so they were both friends, so we both just thought it'd be so cool if we could, like, be in love with uh, two different guys but they were best friends and maybe we could hook up and we could all like go on a fucking double date, you know, wh whatever. I don't know what we used to think, but that's how it mainly was. Of course, my friend actually had a lot more different boyfriends than what I ever had because I was just always scared to go out with guys. I just think also that I was more focused on finding the one person and I know my friend was too. Um, but she took a lot more chances than me, which I kind of wish that I would have took some chances. Um, because that's like the only way that you're, you're ever going to be able to experience anything is if you take chances with people. And, um, that's the only way you're ever going to get to know somebody is you're going to have to actually go and talk to the person. You can't just be obsessed with somebody and, I don't know, like that's so crazy to me now. But looking back, he's so hilarious and we still laugh about it to this day. Funny part is, this guy, right? So, years later, after I think maybe the first year we was out of high school, um, I woke up one morning, I had a text message from my friend Marissa, and she was like, you're never going to believe this. And I'm like, what? And she's like, the guy, his name, da 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 is gay. And I'm like, what? I'm like, nah, and she's like, for real, he's got Facebook, and he actually come out that he's gay, and he moved away to, and, um, he, I guess he found really what he was looking for, and you know, it's kind of weird, because I kind of always suspected that he might have been, but never really knew, because he played sports and stuff, and he seemed like he was kind of a guy, but, like, he seemed kind of feminine, too, in a way, and he this kind of the shirts that he would wear sometimes I was kind of like we used to actually pick on him about this one shirt that he would wear and it was like a, a sweater and um I don't know but I kind of got a vibe then I guess pretty much is what I'm saying so finding out that the guy was gay in the end it, it would have never worked out between us so I wasted like so many years of my life being obsessed with that guy for nothing but really it was like I was too scared to ever go and confront a guy. So by like the time I got in like 10th grade and stuff, I kind of actually developed a new crush on some other guy, but I never ended up going out with that guy because it was just bad news, pretty much. And um, we were just a lot different. I mean, we, we liked each other, but I never ended up going out with him. But anyways, so I didn't really have my, well... I dated people like in 7th and 8th grade, if you want to call that 7th and 8th grade dating where you like date for like a day or two and break up, I don't know, stupid shit in high school. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is my, my little creepy obsession stalker story that I had over a guy that I never talked to, never really knew as a person, and just overall... I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I wish that I wouldn't have been that way. I wish I could change that, maybe, but I can't. But I'm not like that anymore. Like, I am happily married now. I found the one that I want to be with. And <laughs> my friend is also happily married, and she wants to be with the guy that she's married to. So it's all good. We're, we found our ones, and we're no longer obsessed crazy people. I don't know. Have you guys ever been obsessed over somebody? Leave me comments down below, and let's talk about it. What you used to do in your high school, man? Stuff you used to do. So yeah, leave me comments down below if you guys um, have any, like, any more video requests for me to do if you guys want me to keep doing experience videos. I like doing these. I like talking to you guys about a little bit of more personal time about my life and what goes on. So I do like these. Um, also, be sure to check out, look out for, because I'm not really sure how long it's going to take me to edit it because I kind of wanted to, you know, I wanted it to kind of be good, but it's going to be, I wanted it to be good. It's going to be on my beauty channel and I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet, but just look out for a new video on there because I know I needed to upload a new video on there. So yeah, I love you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye!